Let's be honest here people, the only weapons we see that can glitch out Grave Ward like this under my testings have previously been snipers. This thing, wow. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So I'm going to begin this video with straight up honesty. No hanging about and state. This is probably the best assault rifle in the game right now. You guys just witnessed what this thing does to Grave Ward. Can you think of another assault rifle capable of that DPS? If you don't in reality bring a certain build set up to do said damage into the equation because I can't think of one. So the Clairvoyance Assault Rifle is a true unique monster. Where this differs from almost all assault rifles in the game is the fact it basically acts like a full auto sniper with a backup of tons of ammo due to it being an AR. So this clairvoyance comes offering cryo damage only and its dedicated boss drop is Critchy upon Curse Haven, who I will show you guys a route to at the end of the video. Now this clairvoyance does drop in a variety of different variants, including a masher variant, which I ain't too keen on, as with all my experience with the masher variants on said other weapons from this DLC, they all seem to lack in comparison to the standard variants. So you can see the variants I have on screen now. We can see damage and mag size for the most part are the things that differ the most. But the masher version we see is the more powerful out of the bunch, but it also consumes two ammo per shot and it does have the smallest mag size. So yeah. So what does this beast do? What's special about it? And why is it capable of such crazy damage? So that what it actually does is quite straightforward. And that is crit shot, stick, and then explode doubling its damage. And it's good to know that having active anointments like the Sentinel Cryo 100% additional damage doubles up on both sets of damage via the crit shots. And I say this because under testings of other weapons from this DLC too, that isn't always the case. Now also as it's a Jacob's weapon, it also has the trait of crit shots ricochet their bullet to the nearest enemy. So what are we actually seeing here? That ricochet doesn't actually happen until the stuck projectile explodes. And if we land multiple crit shots, we see these shots fire in crazy directions. Obviously though, they would seek a target for almost nearby. And it's because of these people we see it lays down incredible damage to Grave Ward, as I believe these ricocheted shots are also applying damage to Grave Ward. So in reality, we are doing three shots of critical damage per single shot. Now the question is, on that third ricocheted shot, does it also have that doubled up damage from this anointment? Well people, that's something I had to test as what kind of content creator would I be if I left you with more questions and answers. So after testing I went. So after testing this it was soon apparent that shots ricocheted for the most part hit the body, but indeed within that certain instance they can hit the head. And when they do, they do do full crit damage. And to answer the question of do anointments such as the one I have double up that ricocheted shot? Yes people, yes indeed. So what we actually get here when fighting off against Grave Ward, we get a massive damage increase when that anointment is active. The initial shot gains 100% damage, the stop projectile gains 100% damage, and that ricocheted shot also gains 100% damage. So what we are looking at here guys is a possible 500% extra damage over that initial shot. Like wow. Which is incredible and see enough from almost anything this game offers, especially assault rifle wise. So here we have an assault rifle with capable damage output unmatched. You know actually this reminds me of a lot of people even though it acts nothing like the weapon, it reminds me of the sickle. Because the sickle is an assault rifle which acts like a shotgun. This is an assault rifle which acts like a sniper. It has many of the benefits of a sniper, but it also has the insane amounts of ammo to go with it. And actually after having a look around online, there ain't many people talking about this thing either and I don't understand why. Now besides destroying bosses, what else is this thing good for? Well guys, with the right build, this thing can cause destruction everywhere. It's amazing against mobs of enemies too due to its power and those ricocheted shots. And I can tell you guys, there are variants out there which have much bigger magazine size. Like this one here, you can see on screen now with 20 in its mag. This one belongs to my pal, 10 toes down, who's also clued up when it comes to this weapon. He actually pushed me to try it out, so I must give him credit for that. So yeah guys, we have here one of the best weapons in the game right now. A weapon many many people are indeed sleeping on and I do 100% recommend you getting this thing and trying it out. So like I said at the start of this video, this thing drops from Critchy upon Curse Haven and you will see the location and route to this dude right now. Go get this thing people, you will not be disappointed. 
some of the builds out there this would suit an absolute treat and on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one Don't worry, you can still look at me.